Hi love bugs, welcome back to my channel. It's PZ Lou, and if you're new, welcome to the love bug family. So today I have another pick a card reading, messages from your person, what your person is thinking and feeling about you right now. This is a timeless tarot card reading as well as a timeless oral card reading. So whenever you are coming across this video, it shall apply to you. So go ahead and tune into the piles. I have pile one with the white Newman tarot and the black obsidian. I have pile two with the modern witch tarot and the ombre florate. And I have pile three with the pride tarot um, with the clear quartz point. Um, time stamps down below. If you are feeling called to more than one pile, perfectly fine for you to watch both of them. See you there. What's up, Pile One? I hope you guys are doing well today. Um, go ahead, get your person in mind. Think of any questions that you want answered. This is a general reading, just keep in mind. So if it doesn't happen to resonate with you, it's completely fine. You can check out um, other piles on this channel or on my other channel, Love Bug Light. All right, messages from spirit, higher self, positivity, love and light, angels, archangels, and masters, ancestors, spirit, flight guides. All positivity, love, and light for Pile 1. Let's get started with the overall energy for Pile 1 and that person. Ten of Cups. Queen of Wands. Nine of Swords, what the fuck? okay, one second guys, half of the deck just flew out, okay, Whew. that was intense, Queen of Swords, just want to reshuffle these real quick. energy between pile one and your person ten of cups queen of wands nine of swords queen of swords we got two queens there um i feel like you guys really enjoy each other i feel like you guys like to have fun with each other you might have mutual friends your families get along um you guys are really like social butterflies and people look up to you as a couple but something's been going on um that's been self sabotage you guys been doing some self sabotaging in your relationships just remember that whatever you think and feel is going to happen is going to manifest so um i don't know maybe there's been some nightmares not being able to think thinking of the worst case scenarios um and not really manifesting for the good you got to think positive things for your connection and something's going on where it's causing the connection to not be as positive we do have the queen of swords here and so she doesn't look very happy but yeah this is about mental clarity strength and truth like being very intellectual and fair um and so something is going on that's causing this funness to like die down um because i feel like there's a sense of responsibility a sense of too much responsibility sometimes that's just what i'm getting just take what resonates and leave what doesn't um what is pile one's person feeling about them right now six of swords four of wands the sun Four of Cups. They feel like they're willing to go through the rough waters with you. They feel like they're willing to dance in the rain with you instead of just wa waiting for the storm to pass. Um, that You guys are starting to see, or your person is starting to see some of the things that you want come into fruition and you guys can enjoy it together. 
it's like the winter's over we're done with all those storms like you are like the sun to me like you really bring lo love and light to your person's life um but lately i feel like they feel you might be distracted you might be distracted because of all the all this negativity negative stuff going on you're not really seeing all the positive things and seeing how far you've come and seeing how loving and light that you are you're kind of like distracted and not really giving the love as much of attention and um ultimately you should be more celebratory and you should enjoy each other's time a lot more because you guys deserve it all right what is pile one's person's intentions towards them Seven of Swords, Nine of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, the Chariot. Wheel of Fortune is also just there. That's those all flew out. Um, their intentions. I think they want a fresh start with something because of what, even though the Death card is there, um, I'm feeling like there have been cycles of things right like and you can't stop fate like fate is cha fate is changeable fate is unavo unavoidable right um and there's always going to be ups and downs in situations um and i feel like your person wants to kind of end that life where they were being a little bit unfaithful and being betraying you or keeping doing stuff behind your back or lying or just feeling like they're getting away with something um and they want to more like fill up your cups of love more and realize how far you guys have come with the love like i said they feel like you might be distracted in the love but they they want to show you love they want to show you love and they want to work hard for it and they're going to work hard towards the love and at work to try to give you anything and everything that you want to make this connection happen is what i'm feeling so don't be upset about the rough waters and everything. There's cycles are going to always, like, change is unavoidable, like I said. Let's get some blocks before we get message cards and oracle cards. What are the blocks in this connection? We're going to use the Mystic Mondays Tarot, actually, for the blocks. Okay, it looks like four cups. Wheel of Fortune flew out again. <gasps> okay, there go all the cards. Oh my jeez, oh peaks, jeez, oh peaks. Um, we got Scorpio energy with that death card. We got Libra energy with this justice card. Four swords, four cups, four cups for the second time. You guys are too distracted. Princess of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune again. The blocks in this connection is that you guys aren't weighing up the options enough and balancing out your relationship enough. Again, like I said, change is unavoidable. The Wheel of Fortune came out twice. Change is unavoidable and things are going to happen and they're going to be ups and downs whether you like it or not. Sometimes fate just has to step in and call all the shots, you know, and it's fine. Just take some time to take care of yourself and do some thinking. Make sure you re remember to take care of yourself. That's what I'm getting for the both of you. You got to take care of yourself first because you're trying to come together and make sure that you're having all this love and be like, don't be distracted and come and love on me and forget about all this going on. But if you don't take time to make sure that you're great 100%, then when you guys come together, you're going to just be all, you know, not at 100 <laughs> 200 300 four. no i don't know you know what i'm saying i'm saying you know what it is your relationship is better when both people are healthy mentally spiritually physically and so on and so forth um again the four of cups came out so yeah you are distracted um when it comes to this love connection but you guys are going to get it together you're going to get it together and you're going to um be a little bit more 
have a little bit more fun and be a little bit more lively and curious about finding new ways to communicate with each other and have new ideas and really work on this love connection, right? So let's get some Oracle cards before we grab messages. Advice for power one. Wash away your burdens. Embrace the feminine. Be without malice. to reflect wash away your burdens yeah like I said who cares about negative things and the negative situations that you have to go through and the mountains that you have to move it's okay as long as you guys have each other and you have new ways of communicating and have a thirst for knowledge and ways that you can make your relationship better then everything's gonna be fine so wash away your burdens don't have anything be all heavy on you embrace the feminine um, that could be both both of you. Um, the divine masculine energy in this connection might need to embrace their feminine side, might need to be more emotional, might need to open up a little bit more. That could be the both of you. But be without malice. Whenever something's going on in your connection, just make sure that you think positive things and be solution focused. Don't think of problems. Don't wish bad on other people because karma is a biatch biatch. <laughs> um, and then time to reflect. Yeah, uh, like I said, when two people are better, are feel at their best, the relationship is going to be at, at the best, you know? Uh, so make sure that you guys take time to reflect on who you are, how you can be a better person, how you can make the relationship better. Reflect on the things that you could do, that you've done in the past, that you could, you know, learn from. Because there's not any mistakes, only lessons. Butterfly rebirth, just wanted to fly out. You can reinvent yourself, open to the rewards of change. You have brilliance to share with the world. Love every part of your journey. Yeah, exactly. Love every part of your journey. That's been a big message in this spread. Elephant greatness. Love is your strength. Leadership is your path. Your wisdom inspires everyone you meet. You can overcome any problem. You will naturally and easily achieve success. Love it, love it, love it. All right, let's get into some messages. Okay. Avoiding problems, I think that said. Yes. Avoiding problems. swords came up it's like you need to make sure that you're not self-sabotaging your relationship trusting your trust trust in your strength and power to make it to the end absolutely you guys can do this you guys need to get back to the point where you're compassionate stable and you know compassionate fair and emotionally stable yeah guys gotta take care of yourself like i said that time to reflect uh card came out all right if pile one's person could say anything to them right now if all blocks were removed what would they say give me a sign i'm nervous you are wrong trust relationship with me you understand me. I love you. I've been waiting for you. So maybe you guys, in some cases, aren't together yet and um, have been going through these situations and you guys know about each other's struggles and stuff and just haven't really defined the relationship or, you know, 
or you might I'm sorry I was reading this you balance me out or you might just balance them out <laughs> um yeah just take what resonates and leave what doesn't you are different from the others I'm willing to work things out yay and that's what you guys need to do I forgot about those messages sitting there you bring sunshine to my life that's cute because the sun card where's that sun card you bring sunshine to my life and then we got the sun so that's so cute i love being next to you last three i dream about you i want to be your lover and boom, last card, use the law of attraction. So like I said, with that nine of wands coming out, make sure you're not self-sabotaging yourself and think of only the good things that you want in your relationship to happen so that that can be how your manifestation comes about. All right, pile one, I really hope that this video, this pile resonated with you. If it did, please be sure to give me a huge thumbs up and like this video. If not completely fine, you can check out another pile either here or on my other channel, Love Bug Light. Bye. Hi, pal two. I hope you guys are doing well today. We got the uh, modern witch tarot with the ombre, ombre fluorite. So go ahead, get your person in mind. Think of any questions that you want answered. Just keep in mind that this is a general reading. Um, so if it doesn't resonate with you, it's completely fine. You can check out another pile either on this channel or on my other channel, Love Bug Light. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. We're going to pull some oracle cards and tarot, tarot, and tarot cards and get some messages from your person a little bit later. Let's go. I'm sorry, what's overall energy for pile two and their person? Three of Pentacles. Seven of Swords, Six of Wands, Three of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Six of Wands, The Moon, and King of Swords. I feel like you guys work well together, work well as a team together, very good at collaborating and learning things, and I feel like you guys offer different things in different ways and so that's why you work so well together um but somebody or something somebody's getting away with something um somebody's doing something and they're doing it behind the other person's back um and they really feel like oh i'm so smart i'm getting away with this um i'm celebrating it yeah like i'm putting on a show i'm doing doing so well um something's going on at nighttime Ooh. Um, but well, something I'm sorry I'm just thinking yeah I feel like you guys work really well together because you guys bring different different things to the table but somebody is doing something um really major where they're celebrated possibly at night so just trust anything that goes on in your dreams try to really tune into your dreams and things that um are coming through your subconscious mind conscious mind as well um let's clarify this king of swords here i want to know what, what the, what's that about like oh the sun just flew the freak out hmm it's like i'm feeling like the overall in your in in your relationship yeah because you guys work work together so well you guys have like this really like strength and truth and <laughs> you would think strength and truth and like mental clarity mental intellectual clarity mental clarity um you guys are very powerful and try to be fair i think that's the reason why it's like something's going on where somebody's not being fair um and when you guys are at your best when you guys are at your best it's like 
the winter's over. Like all those negative things are out the window. Nobody's even thinking about it. It's like I'm past that brick wall. The sun's shining on me, you know. Um, how's pile one's per pile two's person feeling about them right now? Seven of Cups. Judgment. The Emperor. So we got, we got quite the uh, major arcana coming out with Judgment, the Emperor, the Moon, and the Sun. So, like, we got some Pisces energy with the moon and um, some Aries energy with the emperor here. But um, how they feel about you. Let me get one more card. We got the magician and the nine of wands. <sighs> Looks like the... Queen of Pentacles wanted to fly out too. All right, let's talk about this. Um, they feel like <laughs> they feel like you might be a little up in the clouds right now, and you might need to ground yourself. They love how excited you are and how you like to come up with a bunch of different ideas and think of going here, doing this, you know, trying out this, learning this, coming up with this new hobby. You guys should try this and so go to this therapy and <laughs> just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Um, those are just examples, but they feel like you might need to ground yourself a little bit and do like a little bit of self-evaluation because they do feel like you're this powerful, like, you know, authoritative, like smart person that can manifest anything. And they also feel like you got your finances together and, and but there's been some type of Basically, they know that you have persistence and they love that about you. Like I said, they know that you're powerful. You can manifest anything. Your finances are together. You're a hard worker. Um, and they really just think they really can learn a lot from you. They really inspire them. But they just want you to be a little bit more grounded and slow down a little bit. Just slow down. Take your time. You're already great. Everybody knows you're great. You know, um, yeah, ground yourself a little bit. So what is Pile 2's person's intention towards them? Ace of Pentacles. They really, I really feel like they enjoy working with you. Three swords. Huh. Eight of Pentacles. Knight of Wands. Yeah, I really feel like they enjoy working with you. And they love, like I said, that they feel like you can manifest anything and they that inspires them and they want to be like that. Um, so they do want to work with you, maybe start a new financial or a new career and some type of opportunity with you. But there's been some heartbreak, um, some heartbreak, even possibly deception because we did have that seven of swords um, up there as well. Now we have the three of swords. Um, but when it comes to work, um, because you've been working so hard, they've been working so hard. Hmm. Maybe there's some heartbreak when it, that it comes, somebody's heart is broken. Some type of heartbreak happened. Some type of situation happened because somebody was working so hard. Um, but they, they want to work hard with you. They want to kind of just like go with it and see as much work as see, ugh, see how much work you guys can get done together. See how successful you guys are together. But they're like really like at first think later. They're like, let's just do it. Like I'm fully committed to like making my dreams come true. I hope that you are too. Let's work it out. Um, yeah, but I don't know what you guys know. I don't know what happened with this heartbreak. All right, let's get a couple of these message cards before we get Oracle. Dang, 
think this came out in pile one. Yeah, it did. Trusting your strength and power to make it to the end. I think, right? Yeah, you guys might want to watch pile one, too. Sometimes all three piles resonate. Stay grounded and apply your creativity to the real world. Hmm. So whatever it is that you guys work on, I'm feeling like you guys might be artistic because, um, you know, and creative. Take every opportunity you can get. Clear the cutter, clutter, change is coming. That's some Scorpio energy. All right, let's get some advice oracle cards for pile two. We are all connected. Seek your answers within. Nurture all you love. Stay strong. Embrace the masculine. We are all connected. People can sense energy, feelings. That's why when somebody is staring at you from across the room, whether you know them or not, you can just like feel it sometimes. So we're all connected. So pay attention to the energy that you give out. Pay attention to your body language, your facial expressions, and so on and so forth. Because whether you speak and communicate verbally, people can understand and kind of get a sense of how you're feeling. And it might make them feel weird. Um, seek the answers within. So yeah, go ahead and take some time, some alone time within yourself to literally find the answers. When you quiet your mind and meditate, all the answers that you're seeking usually come to you. Actually, I need to meditate. Thanks for that coming up. Um, nurture all that you love. Yeah, so sometimes we treat the people that we love um, the worst and we're nicer to strangers, which is absolutely ridiculous. I don't know like why it works like that sometimes. But nurture all that you love. Um, and that doesn't mean just like your person, but what obviously you guys work hard and, and like whatever it is that you do for a living, you're really passionate about it. So put love and a nurturing motherly feel to everything that you do. Stay strong because things are going to always happen. Um, change is unavoidable. Embrace the masculine. Um, yeah, so balance, right? We did have that justice card come up. Um, or was that in power one? Just kidding. Judgment was here. Just kidding. Um, but um, balance. You got to balance that masculine and feminine um, ultimately. I know when, I'm, when I feel more balanced, I have more breath of fresh air and less anxiety. All right. Snow Leopard. Self-reliance. You are strongly independent and often solitary. Integrity is important for your best outcome. Cloak yourself with invisibility and walk with the shamans. Use your intuition and let your life unfold in silent perfection. Use your intuition and let your life unfold in silent perfection. All right. If Pile 2's person could say anything to them right now, if all blocks were removed, what would they say? Oh, okay. You understand me. I love you. Came out in Pile 1 as well. You're different from the others. I'm about to reshuffle because that, those both came out in pile one. Sorry, I walked away. I gave you mixed messages. I need to take you out soon. It feels like a competition. Aww. I wonder, like, usually when that card comes out, I feel like it's like... If they people feel like they have to compete for you or like you have so many suitors but in this situation that could be just take what resonates and leave what doesn't but for a few of you it could also mean like this work competition because we're always talking about working together and doing well and working so hard that it's causing distractions blah 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 um i'm sprung Oh, okay, well, maybe you guys, I don't see a lot of love, 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 love going on. I see a lot of work, work going on, but maybe 
your person is and you just didn't realize it if you needed to know that um and guess what else they want i want to be with you and sometimes just because we want to be with people doesn't mean that we can but just know that your person wants to be with you just take what resonates and leave what doesn't This drinks on me card just came out and like folded. So I don't know what that's about. Um, it wants to sit up there. I don't know. Maybe they want to have drinks on you and build a house. I don't know. If that's... <laughs> drinks on them. Sorry, I was so selfish. Yeah, that's why they say drinks on them now. I don't want any bad blood. So give me some time. So I'm getting the feeling that you guys obviously aren't together right now. Some of you. But... I think it's time flew out. Ooh, okay. I want you now. Know that I'll be all right. Heartbroken if you decide basically not to take them up on their offer. I love looking in your eyes. Last two. I need some me time. You hurt my feelings. So maybe you told the person that you needed some me time. Um and that hurt their feelings but now they're like drink some me come on i'm sorry i was selfish blah blah but anyway pal too i really hope that this resonated with you if it did please be sure to give me a thumbs up and like this video if not it's completely fine you can check out another pile either on this channel or on um my other channel love bug light holler what's up pal three i hope you guys are doing well so go ahead get your person in mind think of any questions that you might want answered this is a timeless tarot card reading as well as a timeless oracle card reading but just be in mind keep in mind that this is a general reading so if it's not resonating with you it's completely fine you can check out another pile or another video all right what is the overall intention for pile three and their person I mean, what's the overall energy for pile three persons, relationship, connection? Queen of Swords. The High Priestess, Strength, Leo Energy, Page of Pentacles, and the Hangman. Was that the High Priestess or the Hierophant? Okay, yeah, the High Priestess. Okay, so the overall um, energy in your connection, I feel like you guys are very smart. Um, hard workers kind of fun to be around blunt tells it like it is um but like but at the same time really intellectual and like unbiased independent um and i feel like it's time that you guys kind of listen to your inner voice and like really focus on being more feminine and serene um for lack of uh the better word because i feel like that'll make your relationship even stronger because obviously it is strong and again this is leo energy with this strength card um so basically it, i feel like your relationship is growing and becoming more mature and you guys are starting to be more excited about doing more things going more places finding different ways um to make money but just you need you guys need to be patient and make sure that you kind of take your time and think about all the different like take your time and think of all the different obstacles that might come and really just be patient because everything isn't always like moving fast and everything isn't always going to go the right way right um but yeah you guys are very smart very intellectual people love to be around you your relationship is strong just kind of embrace the feminine a little bit more um really embrace like this more serene type of life because your relationship will get stronger that way and uh, really start thinking about the ways that in the things that you can do the action you can take to get to the relationship um that you want but just know that sometimes you know delays and not being able to make decisions um does happen all right how does pal three's person feel about them right now
Six of Cups, Nine of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, Six of Swords, the Star. Um, they feel like when they're around you, like there's you guys are you might ugh, you guys might have known each other for a long time. They feel like they can be really childlike and youthful when they're around you. Um, but there's something that's going on that's causing them to not be able to really sleep and um, not. There's some rough waters going on and it's because of self-sabotage. I think this Nine of Wands came out in all three piles. So you might want to watch pile one and two as well. The Nine of Wands actually came out twice in one of the piles. Um, but there's some self-sabotage going on. Just remember that the law of attraction, whatever you think and feel is going to happen. Whatever you believe is going to happen is going to happen. So I feel like there were some negative thoughts thinking of like worst case scenarios. Even though you guys like with the connection you make your person feel like a star you make your person feel childlike um but there's something going on in your person's head i'm trying to figure out or is it or do they feel like you're self-sabotaging yourself because this is how they feel about you they might feel like you self-sabotage yourself and you you're always in your head too much which causes um causes the block of having all this you know more basically if you stop self-sabotaging yourself you would have so much more there's going to be rough waters and that's fine but ultimately you can have this life where you reap what you sow and all the hard work that you're putting into things can happen all the hard work that you're putting into the relationship will eventually soar if you believe that it does make sure you think about how you want your relationship to be with your person you know um and how i keep saying like this star thing i mean i've really just realized that the universe has your back and this is just a period of like healing inspiration um and serenity you got serenity coming out with the high priestess and with the star um so just heal love go through the rough waters stop self-sabotaging yourself because ultimately you will have so much more once you stop doing that and be more like how you were when you were younger or when how you guys were when the relationship first started all right um what is pile three's person's intentions towards them right now Knight of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, Four of Swords, Four of Pentacles. Your person their intentions towards you is they want to be like this dependent reliable person but ultimately they're up in the clouds and trying to figure out all these different ways to make you happy and to make you feel secure um but ultimately they haven't been taking care of themselves enough or they've been doing worrying about the career worrying about the finances worrying about how to make you happy worrying about how to make family happy um and how to and really just been trying to save money and hold on to money to give you this life to feel secure um they're trying to think of all the different ways to make you happy um to the point where they're neglecting themselves a little bit right um so what are the blocks in this connection what just take what resonates and leave what doesn't what is blocking pile three and their person from moving forward or having a more successful connection Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, and Eight of Pentacles was on the bottom of the deck. Eight of Pentacles came out in Pile 1 and 2 as well. 
All right, so the blocks in this connection. I feel like there's some temptation, some manipulation, um, maybe when it comes to spending money, not having money. There, there might just be some temptation and manipulation in the in the relationship in general. Um, negative behaviors or negative patterns that's not causing you guys to move forward. Um, but the Queen of Pentacles, there's not enough, you know, nurturing, not enough balance between work and home. So that's when I was trying to say there might be manipulation or temptation um, or like negative routines when it comes to money because that's a saving money has been a thing here. Um, also the Ten of Cups. So there's a lack of love and that is obvious. I don't see too much love going on here. I don't see too much um, stuff talking about how madly in love you are. No Two of Cups, no lovers. But so the Ten of Cups, yeah, the, the fact that you guys are lacking that and possibly not working hard enough or working too much um but definitely not working hard enough towards this ten of cups life you guys need to focus and have a good work life balance work love life balance whatever you want to call it right let's get some advice for pile three Courage is on the bottom of the deck. You might be needing a little push, a little nudge to have some courage to do something to help you strengthen this connection. Stay strong. Things are going to always happen. You got to stay strong. You will be okay. This too shall pass, period. Nurture all that you love. I think that came out in power one. So yeah, really focus on loving each other, Nur being nurturing to each other, especially even with that high priestess card coming up in the beginning. You definitely... It would do you guys some good if you were a little bit more intimate. Know your power. Become a shapeshifter. Wash away your burdens. Yeah, don't allow things that have happened that make you feel so negative and so held back, so weighed down to affect your connection. Um, be able to see different things and different perspectives and become a different person sometimes. Relationships don't always work because people stay the same. Sometimes you need to change to make your relationship work. Um, and know your power. Know how powerful you are and know how powerful you guys are together to be able to come together and make this even stronger connection. Dolphin, play. Swim in the happy joy of living. Inhale confidence and exhale fear. Dive into your wisdom. Go with the flow. Yeah, just go with the flow and see where it takes you guys, okay? All right, we need some message cards um, from your person. We need to figure out what's going on um, love-wise. Build the team and soar. So I don't know if you guys work well together or if you have some ideas about um working together and making money together that could also mean like go to therapy and you guys will like be happier um compassionate fair and emotionally stable yeah we need to work on that that also came out in power one crazy wealth love community stability that's ultimately what you guys need to work on getting to but i think at this point the love is first if you work on the love and work on yourself separately then that will make the relationship more successful faster which is you understand me i love you i don't know what is up with this card it keeps flying out i have 200 of these um let me just reshuffle real quick just in case just in case i love you more oh your person wants to tell you that they love you more Know that I'll be all right. You are wrong. Trust. Lord have mercy. These, all three of these piles are connected, I'm sure. I won't let you down. Let's run away together. 
You've been so patient. Thank you. There's only you. Oh. Would you say yes? I need some me time. Let's get a couple more. Because I'm like, what's really happening? Like, they want to be with you. There's only you. You've been patient with them. I think they really just want to be this person that can take care of you. They feel like they're not there yet. You belong with me. Yeah. Okay, those are the last ones I'm reading. Plus these. Ooh. I want you back. <laughs> I've been waiting for you. I love being next to you. Let's play for keeps. <laughs> but can you be faithful too? LOL. Oh, Lordy, Lord, Lord, Lord. Because if you can, they want to spend their life with you. Work out with me. Hit the gym. All right. Pile three, that's all I have for you today. I hope that this reading was helpful for you. If it was, please be sure to give me a thumbs up and like this video. If not, it's completely fine. You can check out another pile or another video either here or on my other channel, Love Bug Light. Until the next time, bye. Ah!